This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock. Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today in the arena, we are wrapping up this wave of the color challenge with Abzan Doom. After this, we will have a video, at least one, of every single combination of colors in MTG. Throne of Eldraine standard, uh, a standard that's been rocky, that has gone up and, f up and back and forth with bands and this and that, and has changed a good amount. After this, I'll continue to do videos, of course. We're not calling it a wrap, but we're going to start looking forward to the new set coming out, and we're going to probably play a few wacky decks that aren't quite good enough right now in the meta, but could be getting better. So um, look forward to that coming up in the next few days. Also, we're going to do the sick disclaimer. I'm sick. Okay, moving right along. Uh, it... it it's an awkward thing. I don't want to spend a ton of time reminding people that I'm sick. At the same time, they need to know so that they don't leave me comments like, you look tired. Are you okay? I just need some orange juice and a few days and I'll be fine. So I am sick, but here and doing video. So you will enjoy it. And <laughs> Hopefully you'll enjoy it. This deck is a very fun one that I actually like playing a lot, even though it has the cardinal sin of MTG Arena, the cat oven. Ever since Oko died, this, this critter seems to receive a lot of hate, and I get it. It is insanely boring to watch somebody activate multiple cats and ovens. I will say this, I think the best of one meta has moved far away from Cat Oven. I made a video called the best food list for best of one where I highlighted many of the problems that the Cat Trail engine has in best of one. And I talked about ways to solve them, but I don't think most people have. I think most people have moved away from the deck now that it's just Embercleave Central on the ladder because Kitty can't stop Embercleave, but this deck is pretty solid. This is a very fun Abzon take that lets you run Oath of Kaya, Doom Foretold from out of the Dance of the Mance build, along with Kaya's Wrath. But because we're green instead of blue, we're going to run a Gilded Goose, Cauldron Familiar, Witch's Oven, Trail of Crumbs, Golden Egg, Midnight Reaper food package. Midnight Reaper is a card draw engine with Cauldron Familiar and the Oven. Trail of Crumbs is a card draw thing that gets all of our key cards. In fact, Trail of Crumbs can hit everything except for Kai's Wrath. And yeah, it's a fun little engine deck. When it runs, it really runs. It can get run over, it happens. Doom Foretold early is crucial against those decks that plan to go way over the top of you with Ember Cleave or Ramp. So the number of times we draw Doom Foretold and get it onto the battle on turn three with Gilded Goose or turn four on the play is going to say a lot about how well we do in this event. So let's dive in and let the nonsense begin. Staff to bring. Okay. This hand is fine. If we draw a Trail of Crumbs, a Doom Foretold, or a Midnight Reaper, it's pretty good. So we'll keep it. We get to open on Goose. We can have a turn two Kaya's Oath if we actually need it. We might need it. This card, this is the new thing I just hate to see the most on the play. It used to be that Gitu Lava Mancer, Fanatical Firebrand, now it's this thing. Because anytime they have two of these on the play, it feels like you just got God drawn right out of the game. You're taking four first strike damage on turn two, it's disgusting. All right, but it looks like the opponent only has one. Well, I'm gonna block, I am I am not going to cower from your fervent champion. And it looks like they play a second color and their mana is awkward. So life is good. All right, they're ready to deploy the team. Second goose. Oven. Oh, you think I'm done? I'm not done. Oh, you think that's nice? Just wait till you see the rest. I'm not finished with you. 
the bane of human existence, the cauldron familiar. We are down to just a little nonsense left, though. Ah, the opponent's like, what do I target with my beautiful removal spell? Not much. It's not good targets. But Murderous Rider on the Goose will throw it in the oven. Because why not? The opponent will attack. We could block. Save ourselves one damage. We could also save this and deal the opponent one damage. I think my life total is the more important one. We already have two foods to get the cat back. We also don't need to bring the cat back now, but it is a free point of damage. Yeah, we'll do it. I like hitting the opponent. Their life total has to go down eventually. So I don't believe I want to play an Oath of Kaya. I think I'll get a much better target. So let's play the egg and see... No. Let's play another Goose and let's Shock and play the egg. I think our life total is going to be okay in this game, since we already have Cat Oven online against a deck that doesn't really interact with it. What we need to do is find Doom Foretold. We need to make absolutely sure that we survive the Ember Cleave when it arrives and keep the opponent's creatures under wraps. Prankle. Sure. All right, we have a throw a block in with the goose and eat it because I don't want the opponent getting that trigger. Midnight Reaper, that is an engine we were looking for. Unfortunately, this turn is going to be awkward because we have to do the Oath of Kaya, so. We're gonna have to wait a turn as we have two card advantage engines ready to roll. But we have plenty of life. The world is going the way we pretty much need it to. Another rankle would be an obnoxious amount of pressure. An ember cleave here would be pretty obnoxious too, as the double strike and trample would go right through the cauldron familiar. But it's spawn of mayhem, that is not good. Alright, let's throw the cat in the oven. But we don't have to bring it back just yet. Another goose. So, I'm feeling the best way to dig here is this trail of crumbs. So let's get it online. Let's bring back our cat. Sack this summoning sick food token. We're digging for land and doom foretold. Right. Super awkward. All right, I can still hit land this turn by using the Gilded Goose to eat a food. Opponent's impressed. They should be. Auto pay, give me a land. Oh my god. Not good. Not good at all. I guess I'll take another cat. We're probably never gonna have time for the Trail of Crumbs. And yeah, we're we're going to get served by mana. Three lands. And we had to put one on the bottom. That was so awkward. That was such a bad look. So light up the stage. We see Bone Crusher Giant and Dreadhorde Butcher. This is this is getting scary now. Butcher is not particularly great. It's uh it's chump block material, of course. I guess I could kill it. There's no reason not to, really. Just kind of a bad trade for the opponent. We can always bring the cat back later. And we want things off the board so Doom Foretold does work. Ooh. Okay, if we don't get Ember Cleaved, we're looking okay. Let's get this on the board. Take out that Fervent Champion. A 
Another butcher. Sure. And a murderous rider is coming down. Opponent wants to sacrifice stuff to Doom Foretold, but they're going to run into Kaya's Wrath. And before you tell me we don't have the mana to use it, we actually do. It's tricky like that. Let's go ahead and do this block. Um, if we're going to Kai's Wrath anyway, do we... Yeah, if we're going to Kai's Wrath anyway, we'll go ahead and eat the cat. Ow. Alright, my turn. Trigger on the stack. We can sacrifice the Kaya's... The Oath of Kai is an easy sacrifice. Another thing we could do is bring the cat back. And then sacrifice that. But I'm just going to give up the Oath of Kaya. Take our draw. Hmm. Okay. We can do this now. So, uh, we can use the Golden Egg to produce a man of any color. Gilded Goose can too. So even if we hadn't drawn this, we could still play the Kaya's Wrath off this situation. But I think it's worth paying two life here to keep some of our resources together. So make a white mana here. Resolve. Decline. We're going to play the goose after we blow things up. Yes, yes, you're very impressed. Alright. Goose returns. And pass it to the opponent. Doom foretold will trigger. We'll get a gain drain and draw a card. That sounds familiar from the Orzhov video, right? I do like this deck a lot more than the Orzhov one, if you're looking for one of the two to play, but I enjoy both. Alright, we want to use this oven before it untaps, so we do more cat nonsense. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you cat oven? That's the problem, right? It's absolutely correct to cat oven. It's absolutely correct to do all those triggers and use all those abilities, even if you hate them. I'll trade this if the opponent wants to trade. Would you like to trade with your Dreadhorde Butcher? No? Uh, let's see. Get more black. More black mana, please. Now we're ready to start really using our card draw engine. Robber of the Rich. The walls are the walls are definitely here. You're, you're not getting through. Okay, well you're gonna try anyway. Let's see what you exile. It's a land. A good land, but still a land. So, we're not going to be empty handed again anytime soon because of Trail of Crumbs. So we may as well trade this off. And then we'll put the cat in the oven. We'll go ahead and use our Trail of Crumbs mana by sacking a food. Bring this back, pay one. Grab this. And we can also use the goose to do it. And more Doom Foretold seems nice. Let's go get another land. At this point, I think it's all gravy. The opponent is at six. Looking for lethal is always a little... It's close to more trouble than it's worth. Let's bring back the cat. A one. Because we're going to end the game one way or another. They can't really stop me. Let's go ahead and attack. Opponent will probably block the Midnight Reaper and tra try to trade with it. Or they will trade with it, I should say. Let's go ahead and sacrifice the cat. Draw a card before it dies. Opponent is at four. 
So Doom Foretold, another cat, and a food will be lethal because the Doom Foretold drains and gains. And that should do it. I think that was pretty much a show of exactly what we want the deck to do every game, with Kai's Wrath and Doom Foretold showing up to support the Gilded Goose Cat Oven package. Mr. Fishtail. Mr. Fishtail. So we have an egg into Oath Foretold Foretold. We just have to draw the land. I think this hand is worth a shot. I do think it's a little, it's very risky. What am I talking about? It's a very risky hand. We'll go get white. The green cards in the deck aren't here. Goose, Trail of Crumbs. All right, a second egg. As long as we draw land, this hand is moving. So come on, yes, excellent. Stormfist Crusader, the opponent is moving too. Let's try to keep denying some resources with the Oath of Kaya. You Slow down, Rakdos Knights. You're just too hype these days. Deck is frickin' everywhere. It won Grand Prix Portland. Aggro in this meta. Unbelievable. All right, so for this turn, we need to keep trying to draw land so we can wrap. So we'll play the egg. Nice. So we could also run out of trail crumbs to be mana efficient, but I think we just play a goose here. I know the goose might get blown up, but I like having something. Maybe the opponent will target it. Maybe they won't just ember cleave me. So let's see what they do. We might also block with it to save some damage. Here's the champ. Camp is here. Everybody's coming in. So I'll block here. And then next turn, maybe I end up using this for mana. It gains a life if it's still alive when I Wrath. Alright. Anything else? No. Yeah. I guess we'll gain the life. Boom. The opponent might have a Black Lance Paragon just to make things more painful. No, they don't. Good. We needed a break. I guess it's a Murderous Rider. And here's a Rotting Regisaur with no backup. You know what that is. That's Doom Foretold, ba baby. That's Doom Foretold all day. The opponent still has to discard, too. Love it. So they held back this region. I think they held it back last turn. Didn't they have the mana for it? All right, they drop off another gutter bones and pass it back. So they're trying to wait out the doom. Let's give up the oath. We draw a godless shrine. They have two cards in hand. They're about to discard one of them. We could hit the other one and just have a super value turn or we could develop our trail of crumbs and Witch's Oven. I think I'm, I think I'm fine with saving this Doom Foretold. So here's the crumbs. Let's put out the oven too. We got so many toys. This is, this is definitely Christmas morning right here. Save ourselves some life. We could have sacrificed a food there and been plus one life overall. I don't see how it's worth it. But that's what I was pausing. It's like, well, I could pay two life to gain three. And it's possible every life point matters, but I couldn't think of a way that they would add it up to 11 in the next turn or so. They drop off a Bone Crusher Giant. Ooh. But they're out from under the Doom Foretold. So now they get to play the regular magic again. And it looks like we're casting Murderous Rider as a 2-3. Not particularly scary. Let's show them the Oath of Kaya. Three more life. This also frees us up to eat a food 
and use Trail of Crumbs and still have Doom Foretold ready if the opponent finds another Rotting Regisaur or other thing that's just out of my range. And I think eating a food and using the trail is better than playing second trail. I think that two trails going is usually overkill. So as long as the game, as long as there's a battle to be fought, let's just gain the life and dig with one trail. Another oath. Oh man. Oh, it's brutal. I'll offer the trade first. Perfectly happy to trade. These creatures are all bone crusher giant targets eventually anyway, is what I've learned. Let's use a passage and dig. Go get another land. It's not dig, that's fetch. We made fetch happen. Oath of Kaya. Sacrifice Oath of Kaya. Target Stormfist Crusader. Three more life. Eat. We can eat a food and dig, so that's what we're going to do. The opponents are made of tough stuff today. They're not scooping as nearly as early as I would. Yep. Three more life. My turn. Continue the... Night beatings. Alright, we're moving into double trail territory, I think. Well, actually, no. We'll just play this goose and then sacrifice the food it makes. Let's see, that's one, two, one, two, three. Okay, fine. We're in double trail territory. I embrace the double trail. Just for the max torture. Opponent with an end step, <laughs> slam the ember cleave. Oh man, uh, how dead were we if they had the double red early enough to put it on the spawn? Probably very, probably very dead. Um, bop, doop, bop, doop, doop. Um, okay, I'll just stop that, stop that right away. Um, yeah, it's got a combo. Cat Oven Reaper. Let's do it. So I think it's a turn one tapped castle, then turn two cat and oven turn three reaper. The opponent's coming out with pressure. We is in danger. We're gonna take a lot of damage too. And a troll. Somebody sent the trolls. Oh no. Alright, that's nice. It doesn't hurt. Here comes the cat. Here comes the oven. You will need trample for your creatures to be affected. Paradise Druid, I hope you don't miss a land. You're gonna need those. Miss land and die. That's the way I talk about the format. So now that opens up Oath of Kaya on the troll. You know the drill. We could bring it back now, but let's just wait. We might end up drawing something that makes us want to use trail. Ooh, another oven. Actually, I'm just going to fire off the oath. Let's slow the beating down. So if you wanted some Planeswalkers in your deck for Oath of Kaya to protect, the best one is Liliana, Dreadhorde General. It does what the Midnight Reaper does with the effect that whenever you sack the cat in the oven, you get to draw a card. The problem is it's six mana, but I would recommend Liliana, Dreadhorde General for a fun casual replacement for the Midnight Reaper. In this meta, I think you've got to have the cheap Midnight Reaper as your card, but... I, I, trust me, I wish it were different. I would love to play more with Liliana. Attacks, if you control another non-human, okay. Wow, that's a lot of dorks. Opponent didn't get the memo about the cat. All right, we're also the Kaya's Wrath deck. Can we come up with a Kaya's Wrath for this board? Because if we do, we're sitting so pretty. 
And if we don't, we're actually under a lot of pressure. So, because we need the Kai's Wrath, I think we're going to play the Reaper, not the Trail of Crumbs. Trail of Crumbs is good at digging for Doom Foretold, but there's plenty to sacrifice. Midnight Reaper draws straight up cards. Let's go get a Swamp. It also blocks. Don't know if you knew this about the Reaper. He's, he'll, he'll get a block on here and there. He'll, he'll throw a block. He'll get out in front of the running back and throw a nice block. All right, Pelt Collector, now what? Who wants to tango? Everybody does. All right. So, a lot of whether or not I block with this Reaper has to do with whether or not I can find a Kai's Wrath. So, let's bring back the cat and do this whole thing in advance. Also, whether or not I can find another Reaper. Nice. Very nice. So if I'm going to blow up the board anyway, I may as well take less damage doing it. All right. My turn. <laughs> I guess I can gain a bonus life by bringing the cat back meow. Bonus life! Oh, we should have done the whole cat oven thing though. I was supposed to make a food first. Arg. It's fine. Learning. Learning how my magic cards work. Classic CGB. Learning in front of the world for your amusement. Let's double down on Trail of Crumbs. I think we are safe to start shocking ourselves here. And now what we can do is bring the cat back and double dig. Uh-huh. The opponent doesn't attack with the 1-1. They want their beast to do something. Makes sense. Auto pay. Reaper. Auto pay. Oven. Oh god. Oh god, man. Stop. Stop, he's already dead. Yep, triggers that don't matter. Got it. And my turn. Let's turn off the... For this video, let's do auto um, choose triggered abilities. Let's just do all the autos to speed it up. Just an option that you have if you're annoyed. Let's bring you back. Let's dig with the trail. Make sure that we're using our best options. Because Doom Foretold would be nice. Oh, the full collection of ovens. And the opponent will scoop it from there. Dynamo. Dying look, I guess. I don't know. This hand is painful, but incredibly effective. As we get to go goose trail on the play. We've got another goose gamer. All right. Crumbs, baby, crumbs. Paradise Druid. Our opponent's going double ramp. They might have Nyssa. They might have Nyssa. I think we're running out Doom Foretold potentially next turn. What would we sacrifice? The Goose? Uh, I can actually Oath away this Goose. That would slow the opponent down. 
Let's dig. We don't need another land, so I'll take an oven. Yeah, I could play Doom Foretold. I think I'm better off. Let's see, if I get out the oath, I'm so much better off, though. Bye bye, Goose Gamer. You're out of there. I could also sack this food to make an oven, but then I don't get to dig with Trail of Crumbs. So it's either get an oven onto the field or draw a card. I actually think it's get the oven on the field. Like, this, this format is so tempo that giving up a card that you... an extra permanent that you could have in your hand to have another one-mana artifact on the field seems actually like the right play. Oh boy, our opponent's an oven gamer too. But do you have this? Let's go. Let's do it before they get the cat. Once they get the cat, Doom Foretold is much less effective. So do they give up their oven or their druid? They have chosen their oven. Making the return on the witch's oven. The Black Friday deal, the low price, wasn't good enough to justify poor quality. Classic. So here comes a murderous rider. I'm guessing that's a set piece of sacrifice fodder. So what's going on? We see that our opponent doesn't want to give up their druid. They're willing to play out a murderous rider. So what's their hand? Is it casualties of war? It's casualties of war. I was going to say Garrick, but in this meta, it's casualties of war. So we'll give up the Oath of Kaya. Ooh. Let's use the second Oath of Kaya to take out the rider. Then Doom will definitely hit the Druid, which will stall the casualties of war. We can try to draw a land with the Golden Egg, but... I don't know. Is that really worth it? I don't think so. So what we could have done is Golden Egg is a food. We could play it, then sacrifice it to Gilded Goose if we don't draw the land. But then we're just down an egg. Hit him up, Doom. Get rid of that Druid. All right, land go. Definitely casualties of war. Give up another oath. So, if we're going to get hit by casualties, what's the right play? Midnight Reaper can draw some cards. <sighs> trail of Crumbs, we should probably dig with the trail. Let's play the Golden Egg. But yeah, let's hit some land drops. We definitely need to hit a land drop this turn because we're about to lose some. The opponent's going to target our Castle Lockwain anyway, but let's, yeah. Let's see, so the opponent can target this. I can throw it in the oven, sacrifice the food, dig with Trail of Crumbs. That seems okay. And we don't lose the Reaper. So, Doom goes off. The opponent discards an oven. Drain gain. Here's a 2-2. Here's the land. Here's the casualties. Hold on. Takes a minute to pick all those targets. Um, we can make a food here. May as well. We're only going to eat one piece of food, so to use the trail. So, yeah, we'll make a food token. We'll eat a goose. We'll sacrifice the golden egg for a mana of any color. And then use that to trigger the trail of crumbs. And there's a cat. No oven. Yeah, 
Is their last card also Casualties of War is the next thing we have to ask ourselves. Land a Goose. Play the Midnight Reaper. There you go. So what else do you have? You've drawn plenty of land along the way. And it's not Casualties of War, it's Trail of Crumbs. I mean, that can dig them back into the game. They're going to hold off on using it. It's an option. I'm debating if I want to blow up my board to draw three cards. That's madness. Who would do such a thing? Down to ten. Don't have another use for this mana this turn. And here comes the opponent. They're gonna start digging it up. This is gonna this is pretty close. They can turn this around. They can definitely turn this around. They find Massacre Girl. Okay. That is really good. That's gonna... Dr I mean, we're going to draw some cards, but that is really good. Perhaps playing the cat was a mistake? Ooh, but we can get some extra card draw. Oh, it's a feasting troll king? Not your average food bear? Alright. It's a beastie creature. We found the oven. Right on time. Actually, we don't want to use that now. We might want to manipulate what Massacre Girl does. So we pass the turn. Ugh. What a game. We need more Doom foretold, quickly. So what? what is this? We take seven? Take seven. It's a lot of damage. We have some food to eat. It's not the end of the world. Now, does the opponent hold this Massacre Girl? Yes, they do. So, let's nom on our cat. I know, gross. I know. Let's eat some food. Blunt this Troll King. Make another food. Bring back the cat, because we're going to attack with it. If the opponent blocks it, I get to draw a free card. Second Reaper, two free cards. Grindy, grindy, grindy. Hit, your turn. Now the opponent's going to eat some food and dig through their deck for the perfect card. If they're holding the Massacre Girl, what is it they're looking for? They find another trail of crumbs, gross. Off the top. Here comes Feasty Boy. Look out, Mom, it's the Feasty Boys. So I, this is another just take it. Killing it doesn't do any good, and if the opponent has a troll king or graveyard, they can sacrifice it and get three Trail of Crumb triggers for free. That ain't okay. Nothing about that is fine. This is a messy game. Life is irregular. Alright. Let's do the thing with the oven. Draw those cards. Then we need to sacrifice food tokens. We need to keep our life respectable. Oof. And bring you back. I don't know, we might be Kai's Wrathing, guys. This, this is a few too many of them, if you ask me. Okay. Well, it starts the party. Definitely gets us going in the right direction. Use some more white mana here. So 
So, do I wrath? If I wrath the Troll King away, I get one of the crumbs, and I think we have to get them. So if we're going to wrath anyway, should I attack first? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to draw a ton of cards, and I want one of these Reapers dead, probably. Yep. Here we go. I don't think I want that many cards. So, cause drawing double is nice and all, but we also have to worry about our life total. Ooh, two cats. Still think this is the play. Hmm, careful what you eat. So one of the trails is gonna go. The opponent finds a wicked wolf, sure. So before you start saying, hey, but that doom foretold, you're gonna have to sacrifice your oven to it. We have the cat. As long as we bring the cat back in response to the doom foretold trigger, we're not gonna have any issues. Opponent finds another trail of crumbs. We draw three more cards. And we end our turn. Another exciting one. So the strategy here is to wrath the board every turn and keep Doom Foretold around and just keep killing off their trail of crumbs until those are gone. And then we can get back to trying to grind them out. It's it's the long it's a long con. It's it's a lot of it's a lot. Here comes the 7-6, of course. Have fun with that. Um, I'll be over. I'm gonna go get a refill on my juice. I got through it and we're roping on my upkeep so back comes the cat cat hair in case anybody thought I shaved my head oh it's not my upkeep it's still my opponent's main phase well I guess I plan to do a witch's oven thingy eventually yep you got that so that's really good against the Doom Foretold when they get their own cat oven going. least two doom foretold. <laughs> so, we gotta wrap the board, we know that. Do we want to draw some cards and gain some extra life doing it? Or do we want to build a board after the wrath? Remember, the opponent has Massacre Girl, so we can't, we can't have too many cats on the board at the same time more than we have ovens, or they just get massacred. Yeah, let's gain bonus life for one cat. Oops, I did it again. Um... Actually, 
actually, let's play out this other cat and the golden egg to make absolutely sure we don't lose our stuff to the doom foretold. Because we're down to one food. Golden egg, of course, is an easy sacrifice that gets us hopefully closer to another another doom foretold. Like I said, we're gonna need many doom foretolds running to make this work. The opponent's getting a lot more mileage out of all these sacrifices than I am. We still are gonna force them to make progress on the board though. And they don't Let's see, they casualties me a million years ago, so they run plenty of those, I'm sure. They're probably the four casualties of war version, after all. Although Feasting Troll King has to be in there in place of something. Maybe it's taking the place of some of the casualties. Ronto's annoying. Let's see what you do with it. Druid? Sure. Not my doom foretold, I need a lot of those. Okay, it happens. Oven the cat. Let's bring back two cats because we can attack with them. Actually, do we bring back three? Go cat beats. Yeah, I think so. Let's go for it. Cat beats. Cat beat downs. Yeah, baby. Cat beat downs. All right. Well, we'll definitely send out our Midnight Reaper here. Let's draw some cards from those cat beat downs. Opponents in danger. This is close to lethal. They have a food they can eat, but if they do, they're not getting anything out of the crumbs. So they're gonna get back the cauldron familiar? I don't know, that's a little greedy. It's a little greedy. They find an oven. That's that can be a big deal. Ooh. Not blocking with your cat? Okay. Down to four. Doom foretold. This is... All right, let's do this. Cat in the oven. We draw another oven, I think it's game. That's a food. It's really close. But it's not quite there, is it? How do I get another death trigger out of this? I don't think I do. Let's see what we draw off the egg. Come on, baby. No. Not quite. Alright, then we may as well doom foretold. Can get my opponent to frickin' one. One, baby. One. Why? Why you like this? All right. So I, I think running Doom before they get the oven down is, gives them one last sacrifice trigger. These come back. Boom, boom. Down to two. Yeah. Your go. One of the trails is gone. What, did it too much? Too much trail? And here we go. Now our opponent has the engine. And another cat. They are low on food. They do not have a million foods. Wicked wolf, of course. Yep, can't stop that. Bringing these back won't get me anything extra right now, so... Sure. The opponent doesn't make a food. Okay. Another card. Another land. Oh, 
What if I block? It's a free death trigger, but I don't have a lot of food. Hmm. Is he a trap? Is the opponent trying to massacre girl me? Yeah, let's not use the food here. The food is important. Alright, they left up that much mana, huh? Then maybe we bring these back and get aggressive? What are we sacrificing to Doom? One of the cats, right? They only have... Well, they can sack this. They have two blockers for two cats. There's no point. Because if we bring both of these back, then we have no food. We have to sack one to the oven and to the Doom anyway, and then we attack and they sack this one, and then they block both. So it's not a good deal. Draw. I think that's enough. If we can catch our opponent, what, in response to a trigger that would gain life? So let's go main. Let's start with a cat. Follow with the goose. See if this food resolves. It does. All right. I think the way that the sacrifice triggers work, I don't know if I can get this. I don't know if I can sneak this one out. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. I know I have another way to see extra cards, so we'll play this tapped. Next. Next. End the turn. Let's pay attention to these triggers. Okay, the opponent sacrifices their cat. The oven trigger is on the stack. Right now, the opponent has no food and a cat in the graveyard. This is the window. I think this is the window. They needed to respond to that cat or that Gilded Goose trigger. If they had responded to either one, I don't think I would have gotten them with this. Don't think I would have had them. But that's it. That's it. Triggers! Rulante. Roll anti. Goose, Reaper, Cats, and stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's go. This Kai's Wrath may be important. I, I predict this Kai's Wrath ends up being important. Belt Collector. Blocks. I call your bluff. I guess our goose really has to live because this doesn't cast the Kaya's Wrath. I'm trying to decide here, do I need to deploy the Trail of Crumbs and dig or do I deploy a, a cat so I have something going on? Maybe the answer is both. We can go with Trail of Crumbs and we can go with cat. Rather than using Trail of Crumbs to dig, because right now tempo is the most important thing, we'll use it to put out a creature that can block and set up a future use of the trail. So aggressive. Alright, we'll make a block. Kill your 1-1. One -one. So they don't have a Bone Crusher Giant, they let the Goose live. 
unless they just don't prioritize that kind of thing. So we have potentially a Wrath next turn. So I think the best thing to do is to make a food. We can also eat a food. Just gain three life and see another card. Make a food, get back a cat, do a, do a block. And then next turn use the goose to cast the Kai's Wrath. That's my strategy. Hopefully the goose lives. We could pay two life to see another card with trail there, but right, like this matchup I think is all about life total. So, here's the cat. We'll chump the pelt collector before it has trample to save some life. That's how to save a life, kids. The fray would be proud. Boomer musical references. Wait, that's from the 2000s. Nobody can boomer me for that. Not possible. What do you think? There's definitely a questing beast on the way, right? We could play the Midnight Reaper to try to absorb some of that. Get a little deeper in the deck? Is that too greedy? I actually don't think it is. I think it's a good play. Let's go get another white. Or no, let's get a black. Your turn. So we can shock next turn to play the Kaya's Wrath if our goose dies. Here we're probably looking at... What? Bring the cat back. Use the ability of Trail of Crumbs. Do some digging. I just want them to play a Questing Beast so I don't get Questing Beasted after the Kaya's Wrath. And here it comes. Who's coming? Who's coming at me? Just you? Okay. Okay. Let's block with the Reaper and draw a card. Which is oven. Nice. So I can bring back the familiar here, and then I might have to end up, and I get to activate Trail of Crumbs. I might have to pay two life for this. I think it's worth it though, because we gain a life from the familiar. And then we gain another life with the familiar being on the battlefield when the Kaya's Wrath goes off. I could also make a food first with an oven. It's pretty good. Here we go. Kaboom! So we made the food first so that we wouldn't be out of food after this exchange, and we'd be set up to bring back the cat with the oven combo and use Trail of Crumbs in the future. If we had just blown up the cat, we wouldn't have a food. We learned that earlier in the video if you were watching and paying attention to my horrible misplays. Here is a Pelt Collector. Here is a Rimrock Knight. So the opponent's not out of threats. Threats will continue until I am dead. Fable Passage again. Let's bring back the cat and see what we reveal. Another oven is better than another cat. Always. So we want untapped lands for certain because we have Trail of Crumbs to use all of the cat triggers to find more permanents. Let's use an Oath of Kaya and get this Pelt Collector dead and rebuild our life total, and play double oven. Oh yeah. We are set up. Here comes an innkeeper though to keep the opponent in the game and draw a card. Rimrock Knight doesn't attack. Let's do the trick. Let's do the oven game. This is definitely a round where a Doom Foretold would be a good find. cat. Putting a wrath on the bottom. Don't like that. Let's 
This isn't going particularly great. Our last several looks have been pretty blank, but we've got a lot more to look. Three wraths on the bottom. You know how unlikely that is? Three of our top four cards were the three were the wraths in our deck. That's insane. That is actually insane. Let's keep this going because we need to find something better. And there's an oath of Gaia. Innkeeper? I think so. It keeps the low struck beast from attacking and takes away their card advantage source. And then I think I shock, and I don't think I play the other cat. I think... Well, no, I don't shock, and then I dig with the trail. Because we're actually... As weird as it seems, I think I'm falling behind. I think that sequence was bad. I think that sequence was really bad. Three rats? Oh my god. If one of those were a doom foretold, we'd be crushing it right now, but was not to be. Am I going to get Ember Cleaved from this spot? Is that what's coming for me? On the bright side, I can't possibly miss with Trail of Crumbs ever again. All the all three of the non-permanent cards in my deck are on the bottom of, of the library. Hellkite. Ooh, boy. And counter go. Opponents settling in for the long and powerful game. They don't know I put my wraths on the bottom. What the heck? Egg. Sure. It's a redraw. Draws are good. Let's see what you've got for me. Okay. Play you. Play another untapped land. Try to set up digging with these crumbs till we get doom foretold, but I am falling behind. We have been missing the hits, and the opponent is not missing the hits. They are... they drew four lands. Five lands. It was a little awkward for them at first, but now they are drawing all the hits. Holy cow. And all my wraths are at the bottom. We need another Fabled Passage to shuffle this deck. Alright. Here we go. Let's throw the cat in the oven. It's what we do. The redraw... I'll take the flying blocker, I guess. That also makes another food. There's a, there's a shuffle. That's something. I know, I know. You've never seen such riveting content. You don't have to tell me. Yeah, stay alive. <laughs> this is the cheap stay alive crew. The Reaper is fun for drawing more cards, but right now my life total is under siege. Shuffling those wraths. Give me a chance. <laughs> oh my god. Um, eat this cat. Play it. Pay it. There we go. Doom and Goose and Goose, I guess, and pass the turn. Let's start start sucking sucking some cards out of you. We're gonna be a tough one to close, although we're we're definitely destined to take a lot of damage here. May as well throw it in the oven. Ah, 
now the opponent's trying to clear the way. Nice move with the Bone Crusher Giant there so that they actually get their Bone Crusher Giant. We fall to 10, we've got a pile of food. We can sacrifice this cat. We can also sacrifice this egg for two free Trail of Chrome Triggers. But, eh, I guess I'm going to dig anyway, so we may as well. So it's a good little trick that you can do. Yes. Interesting, but right now I just take whatever's cheaper, I think, when it's not doom foretold. Oh my god! But because we we because we fable passage cracked and didn't hit last turn, we don't have enough lands. Oh my goodness. Double doom. I think I'm done activating the trail of crumbs. I'm just gaining life and trying not to die. Questing Beast, out of there. Hellkite, 5-5, five, five, with a counter. Trying to draw an Ember Cleave, I think. Alright. What you got? It's an Innkeeper. Okay. That means Bone Crusher draws another card, and the opponent has a chance. Well, we know we have another Doom for Tull. They'll need another permanent from here. Do they find it? They're at five, by the way. This game is over. I... When did they get to five? Too much cat oven. Eat that, eat that. All right, another egg. But yeah, this is lethal. Lethals. We'll have to sit through all the Trail of Crumbs triggers. That was a scary game. Doom Foretold was almost too late. Kai's Wrath was buried. And the opponent sees it. The math, the countdown. It's over. Bino. 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 Hell yeah. That's a keep. CGB, your deck is amazing. You broke it. It's 5-0. Deck is not good against anything trying to do like control or a slower strategy or anything with Brazen Borrower. Just so you know, the deck has weaknesses, but it is very solid against Knights and solid against Gruul, which are considered the two tier one decks in the format. And now that I've said that, let's see if we get absolutely dumpstered by this deck. Um. Let's get the oven down. I think if we play the cat and the opponent uses a Bone Crusher Giant on it, we'll have a lot of regrets about our life. This way, next turn, we can play the cat and possibly fetch a land if we don't draw one here. Ooh, Crusader. Okay, we drew the land. So we'll play a pain-free land here. I'm not in a hurry to get the egg down as much as I am to slow the bleeding. The massive bleeding that I'm sure we're in for, because right now we don't have a Kai's Wrath. The clock is definitely ticking now. It's a fervent champion. It could have an Ember Cleave next turn. Good choice. I have a Black Lance Paragon. All right, first strike damage. Put our cat away. Out of harm. Take some points to the face. Now.
now what? Another night. Ouch. They're already growing. I, I have an untap for my third turn, and the opponent's got Knights of the Ebon Legion going off. Alright, my turn. So what are we going to Oath of Kaya? Pretty tough call. Stormfist Crusader is a real problem. The Knights of the Ebon Legion can be pumped. I think it's the Crusader. I think letting the opponent draw a ton of cards is good for them, bad for me, because I've got a full hand and my hand my deck is slower. And I'm on the draw. So those extra cards help them curve out better. Here's the cat. Ooh, opponents going pumps. Okay, they're not committing to the board. And they're tapped out for the turn. That's the bright side. The not so bright side is these knights are going to be a huge. So this is it. If I draw a Kaiser app, I'm in good shape. Ugh. You've got to be kidding me. How do I do this? Chat. There are always people. There are always people in comments. Chat and comments being like, for the number of times I've seen CGB name the card and draw it. <laughs> How do I do it? That one surprised me. That one... What? I guess when you're hot, you're hot, my friends. Might as well use Cat Oven. Those life, those life points matter. And it's... I mean, that was like... That's not like I was getting further ahead. That was the game. We were just... We were just getting dumpstered by Knights of the Ebon Legion, and our opponent just scoops. What on earth is ha What? Jojo la Jojo. Joja. Alright. Do I keep this? Without black mana? Or without green mana, I should say. We have cat, nothing, reaper, wrath. I mean, okay. Maybe I'm getting cocky. But the meta has been. Like, just solid, smorky aggro. And this seems like a curve that competes with it well. Uh-oh, caves. So I'll play this tapped, and then next turn we'll play oven and cat at the same time. Might cost me if I miss out on one point of damage, but I think it's not worth it to run out the cat. Or the oven, for that matter, because of Angrath's Rampage. Better to play them together when you see a Bloodfell caves. Come on, be an aggro deck, though. I do, I do not want to play against control. I don't want to play against some kind of Grixis. Those matchups are so hard if you don't have Doom Foretold. Okay, Priest. Wait, am I happy about that? Let's develop our cat in our oven. We could have also played the Goose and tried to set up for Kai's Wrath, but remember, the Forest can't cast Kai's Wrath, so it actually wouldn't get us ahead in that department. Next turn, we have Reaper combo, though. Alright, not a Chandra. Not a baby Chandra. Devil. Alright. Let's run the combo before the Devil enters the battlefield. It is their only play for the turn. And I don't have an Oath of frickin' Kaya. Which is something I need. Now remember, the sacrifice effect goes both ways. So, if I sacrifice a permanent, the Mayhem Devil does get uh, triggered. So, we do have Kaya's Wrath next turn. Do I run out the Midnight Reaper? I think the opponent will do something about it, and I think that alone makes it probably good, but the opponent has Oh, if they have the Claim the Firstborn, well, I guess that's fine. We throw it in the oven, the opponent gets a trigger, they kill off our Cauldron Familiar, then we Wrath their board, and we took out their Claim. 
which is going to get us eventually. Actually, they don't have a way to sacrifice it yet. Oh, they could sacrifice it to the priest. In that case, I don't think I play this. But if I play nothing, the opponent will see through it. And I'm not progressing my board. So, all that to say, if you want your wrath to be a good wrath, you have to make it look like you're not going to wrath. Eh, eh, eh. Murderous Rider. Nice. So, we'll let that go. I think I'm still planning to block here with a Cauldron Familiar. I could draw an extra card there by sacking my Cauldron Familiar. But I take a ton of damage from Mayhem Devil and friends. I like that they tap the priest. All right, that triggers the devil. We take one to the face. Then we blow up the, this priest and this mayhem devil, which is a good deal. Doom. Nice. That'll be a good follow-up, but that's not the play this turn. see if the opponent's ready to rebuild and what they rebuild with. Murderous Rider. That's, a, that's pretty promising. Bring back the cat and run the oven game. We'll keep this in the graveyard. Nice and safe there. You can play this forest, play this goose. And begin the Doom. Mayhem Devil definitely has to be gone if we're going to use Doom Foretold. Lots of sacrifice triggers. This is for 7-0. This is for a 7-0 from an off-meta Abzan deck. You can say what you want about how meta Cat Oven is. You definitely don't see it with Doom Foretold every day. Don't lie to me. Unless you're also addicted to this deck. The opponent's going to try to murder us, Ryder the Goose. Let's throw it in the oven. Upkeep stops so we can respond to our own Doom Foretold trigger. We wouldn't want to bring back the cat and have it shot down by something at instant speed. Although I guess we could just bring it back again since we have so much food. The opponent puts out the oven. They're going to end up sacrificing that. Is that intentional? One of the great things about Doom Foretold, even though it's been out for a while, since it is off meta, people don't know how to play against it. It's a weird card. It's pretty confusing. Oi. Alright, Golden Egg. Give me a card. Castle? I can use this castle right now. I'm at 17, though. I don't think that's actually a good use of life. So I'll just develop my mana, say go, eat that oven. Now they're like, what do I do? Okay. They're gonna try to run me out of permanence. That's not gonna work, and JoJo packs it in. Lock it down, baby. Seven wins! Zero losses! Gems for days. Well, that ran a long time. I, who knew? Cats, ovens, it takes a while. But we're going to call that a day. I hope you enjoyed the cat oven Doom Foretold Abzan deck. I certainly had a good time with it. It's a really fun deck for me. And I have no regrets at all playing it. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you to sponsor CoolStuffInc.com. Use the promo code CGB5 for 5% off at CoolStuffInc.com. I really appreciate that they sponsor the channel. And I hope to keep working with them all through 2020. And what helps me do that is if some of you click on the link in the description to visit their site. Thank you for watching this video. And I will see you later.